switch on your video, maybe? Who? Who? No, not all. We've got Who? some guests, I think. Hilary and Tony Wordley. Nice to have you. Hello, with yes, you. we are we here. Can't see you at the minute. No, we'll, we'll try and make it work. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Well, we're pleased to have you with us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to access the Right, I'm going to mute now because it's half past nine. Okay. I saw muters. I think you all need to mute yourselves, though. Right. Yeah, we all mute ourselves. I think we've been muted. No, well, don't it's... don't touch anything. Well, there's the little red man's up there, darling. What have we got to do? You've been watching all these times. I think what I was trying to do is. I wonder if she's waking where, where in the bed we each other. Oh, I wouldn't want to lose a little bit of please. <laughs> we'll just have to be quiet. Sue's. She's muted herself by mistake. Oh, yes. Let's say that. Oh, that's a little wreck. I think it means recording. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not, oh, I'm not no, touching that's anything. Water, yes, that's fine. No, I'm not touching.
Happy Christmas. It's a bizarre Christmas day, but it's still a form of magic Christmas day. And the wonder of our celebration of our Saviour's birth. Like my birthday. No. Oh, and those people who are on Zoom, I suggest that you turn up your volume on your device so you'll get the best quality of sound that's available to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Our Advent has reminded us of the coming of Christ who brings to us hope, peace, joy, and love. Now we rejoice that he is born into the world, the light that shines in the darkness. People who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Put our camera on so we're there. All right. Symbolize the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, let the light of Christ shine within our hearts. Bring to us and all the world your peace, your hope, your love, your joy. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins. God, our Father, you sent your Son full of grace and truth. Forgive our failure to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, our Saviour, you were born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of love, your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, who 
has given us thy only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we be regenerate, and may thy children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by thy Holy Spirit. Through the same our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same spirit, ever one God, world without end. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you. As for the joy of the harvest, as people exalt when dividing the plunder, to the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulder, to rather than the oppressor. You were broken as on the day of Midian, for all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as food of fire. And he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall break into the grave, and there shall be endless peace to the throne of David in his kingdom. All right, I mean, here. Mm -hmm. okay. With justice and with righteousness, from okay. this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, I could have a as possible you before. Exactly what they are because I always have and got them all. <laughs> it was my chain and I put that on it and you oh, wrapped, wrapped it up. I thought I wrapped it. You did, I've just taken it. Oh, sorry, I thought I can't be sure about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We stand for the gospel reading. Alleluia, alleluia. I bring you news of great joy. Today a Saviour has been born to us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. 
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a sad thing to consider that on the first of two great occasions which came in his life, the national occasion of the census, our Lord was completely unnoticed, and on the second, the religious occasion of the feast of the Passover, he was rejected and murdered. Both his birth and death took place in the midst of frenetic activity, where people were focused on their need to comply with the regulations either of government, with a census, or religion, as with the Passover. Some things don't change, do they? We're almost at the end of a deeply challenging year in which 65,000 of our compatriots have died of COVID-19 and nearly a million and a half people have succumbed to it globally. One feels almost guilty at celebrating Christmas. Indeed, the scaled-down nature of our observance does at least seem appropriate, given that for many, this will be a miserable time. In what way can the incarnation of Jesus speak to us at such a time? How can it inform the future for us? God came into the world, clothed in the vesture of humanity, to take his share in that part of the world's history in which his human life would be spent, and his entry was unnoticed and unknown, except by some simple shepherds, some wise men who were outside of the Jewish faith, and a few saints, like Simeon and Anna. Here is the most wonderful thing that ever happened. It is not merely a baby, though a baby is a wonderful thing enough, but God manifest as a baby. And they didn't see him. They had no room for him. In his humanity, he was the unnoticed God. And in our day, God struggles to be noticed among a clamor of our troubled lives. But God remains God. And just as Jesus showed that the poverty of a stable was an appropriate place for God to be interested in, so God does make himself known in life today. I sometimes look at the BBC News website when I'm eating my lunch in the comparative warm of my study, and last week I noticed a story about a clergyman in Burnley who's been spending his time out on the streets feeding the poor and the homeless. He had been a drug addict and dealer himself and had a criminal record before his life was turned around by coming to Christian faith. Now he is ordained, and his church coordinates the street work on the streets of the town, which is one of the poorest in the north of Britain. It's a vital piece of work, and it makes a difference for those who become 
even more vulnerable because of the pandemic. More locally, the work of the Jigsaw Food Bank, supported by parishioners here and across the team, and with donations from people across the area, is another example of how it is possible to make a change for the good within a little, with a little care and a thought for others. The link that was made at the birth of Jesus between the mystery that is God and the mundanity of human existence was a priceless gift to all of us. In the circumstances of life, circumstances as humble as a manger, as commonplace as the carpenter's shop, and almost as tragic and awful as the cross, God in Christ comes to us. He comes to seek and save that which is lost. To bring light to our darkness. Strength to our weakness. Peace to our loneliness. And we have to make a great act of faith that he really is here in our midst. It is so easy not to notice that God in our midst because we don't find him in the palace or possessing material wealth, but in the dirt and the poverty and the helplessness of human life. The glitter of Christmas, no matter how hard we have tried to make it feel jolly, may seem a little false this year, but it strikes me that a note of reflection and quiet appreciation of the generosity of people and the genuine willingness of those in the caring professions to take risks with themselves in order to care for others is closer to the true message that we can take from Christmas. When Mary, and Beth, when Mary and Joseph arrived at Bethlehem, they found no room at the inn. The generosity of the innkeeper provided room for the Christ child to be born. The Lord is at hand. Let us try at Christmas to make room in our souls for him. And let us make room in our hearts for those around us no matter what their circumstance. Amen. We stand and affirm our faith as we join together in the words of the priest. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, we may never forget the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Yeah. 
Lord Jesus, you were born to share with us all our experiences of life. We come to you now, trusting that you will understand the needs of your world, your church, and the people for whom we pray. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, speak of your wisdom and give guidance to the leaders of the nations in ways they can hear and understand. Speak, and may your kingdom of peace, justice and righteousness be established on earth. We pray for our nation. We give thanks for the conclusion of the negotiations between the United Kingdom and the European Union, and pray for all of those who will be relieved that they may continue to trade together so that all may flourish. Lord, hear us. Lord, pray for us, mighty God, speak of your holiness to your church throughout the world. Speak and let your people celebrate your birth with a new commitment. Let us joyfully proclaim your glory so that the whole earth is filled with the sound of praise and thanksgiving. And as we pray for the church throughout the world, so we pray for this church and the churches of our team. As we celebrate Christmas, making known to us all the love of God in Christ. Today we pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, as she prepares to address our nation. We pray for her in her role as Governor of the Church of England. We pray for our Archbishops, Justin and Stephen, and for our Bishop Libby, as they seek to lead and God. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord Jesus, everlasting Father, speak to your children of your love. Speak and be born again in our hearts today. Speak and let your love surround us and those with whom we share this Christmas. Help us to see you in others so that by loving and serving them, we may also love and serve you. And so we pray for all of our efforts to love and serve our neighbours. For the work of the Jigsaw Food Bank in our locality. For all of those involved in the network of support for the isolated and lonely. Strengthen the work of our hands, we pray, gracious God. Lord, in your mercy. Lord Jesus, wonderful counselor, speak words of comfort, love, and compassion to those who are suffering bereavement, loneliness, or sickness of body or mind. Speak and let them find peace and reassurance in knowing the light of your presence with them in their darkness. And so, in the stillness of this moment, we remember before God any known to us in need of his healing touch. And we pray too that any who are close to death, all who shall die alone today, And we pray for the repose of the soul of Rose Musgrave, a member of our congregation at Elton, who died just the other day. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus, in your compassionate understanding of what it is to be human, hear our prayers. Use them and us to bring you peace, joy, love, and hope into the lives of those for whom we have prayed. 
we want God to bring salvation to you all through the grace of God our Father. Merciful Father, have sent these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you please stand for the peace? Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's wave to each other, a sign of God's peace. Happy Christmas, everyone. Thank you. 
word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation, you embraced our poverty. By your spirit, may we share in your riches. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to thank us for All glory and honor be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever living God, we give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who, for love of our fallen race, humbled himself, was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit, and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible and are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Highs, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the Highs. Lord, you are holy in me, the source of all holiness, surrounded by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so far, the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to God our Father in the words of our Savior. <coughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. As has been the tradition of late, when the priest receives uh, both times of communion, bread and wine, the congregation receives just in one time. Please come forward to a seat from me as I stand there in front of the altar. Remain standing, of course, and uh, once you have received communion, please go uh, round back to your seat uh, to your right.
whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem. May the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds, through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen.
Christmas. Have a good day. Thank you. And you, Anne. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Oh, lovely. Because I'm on my own. So try that, folks. Say, oh, I'm on my own. And you <laughs> so, Somebody's just face down, maybe. Yeah, it's Sue and Spencer. Sue? Uh, you, you said this. Well, not you. This is your friend from right on top of the drive. Thank Bye. 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 Thank you. 